All right, I say we quit. Like we quit standing and we start riding. <laughs> I like the way you think, my friend. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Great River Road. As you can see, it's still kind of farmy out there, but it's only gonna get better looking as we go. You can see the bluffs in the distance, man. That's yeah. a pretty sight. Yep. Yeah, so Alton's about 30 miles from here, as you can see from the sign. Grafton should probably be another 10 minutes or so, and that's an awesome river town. They got tons to do there. It's a great like weekend getaway spot. There's wineries galore. There's uh, there's pubs. There's shops. It's a good place to go and uh, kick back on a weekend. You're speaking my language, man. See, the river's not too far out that way, but it gets closer as we get closer to Grafton. It'll be right. It'll be right there at about 10 miles. Now you did a video. Pretty early on, uh, after starting your channel, uh, I think pretty early on, uh, where you're riding near the river, around the river, and then you have another one that you did recently, riding the river road. All those videos just made me want to be there, riding right next to you, man. Those are great videos. Well, you're here now, so this should be awesome. Yeah. Wouldn't want to have it any other way right now. Yeah, I mean, look how freaking different it is here compared to where we were, where we started. Oh, so much different. I know, it's so, it's so much nicer. This 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 actually feels like home. This feels like the Driftless region to me. Yeah, well, I'll have to, I'll have to make my way up, up to your area sometime in the future and go ride with you up there. That'd be sweet, man. You're welcome anytime. Okay, so Madison is just out... Madison's town where I live in. Madison is just on the outside of the Driftless region, so it's not in. Where I live, I am. I get on the motorcycle. I'm in the Drivers region within 10 minutes, and it's it's like a light switch, man. It just the terrain changes so quickly, and this is exactly what that was like. Yeah, there's a lot of old like cabins and stuff along the road too. If you want to stop at, get some photos of with the bikes. That'd be sweet, man. That would be really good. Little Instagram action, maybe. Heck yeah. See, that guy likes the view. <laughs> He didn't even turn his back on us, or huh? he didn't even turn around to, to no, take he, a look at us. No, he's this. like a tractor beam. He's just sucked right in. I thought it was a mailbox at first. I noticed him at the last second. <laughs> they need to make a mailbox that looks like a person. <laughs> you know, like one of those mailbox silhouettes? Yeah. Only in red? That's what I thought it was. I'm like, oh, it's a dude. That's a real person. So what else should we know about D-Cycle? You covered a little bit. Is there anything... Oh, sure. Um, basically, one of the big things, one of the big focuses about my channel is I do a little bit of charity work. I mean, it, it's not everything about the channel because I want to keep things balanced with, you know, kind of being interesting and kind of doing some charity work as well. Um, I have been selling t-shirts and raising money for special causes. Like, I I printed up a batch of t-shirts uh, several months ago and I raised money for a, uh, a gym in the area that had autism in mind. It was an autism friendly gym. It was a gym for all kids, but designed with autism in mind. So we raised some money for that. I sold a batch of shirts for that. And currently I, I actually sell in my last shirt to a subscriber now. I'm, uh, but the batch I have out now, all that's going to the Heidi Foundation, which is a local charity that helps people more locally in my area with special needs. And uh, another thing right now is uh, we, me and my wife and my kids and my family, we participate in the Autism Speaks Walk. And that's going to be happening next month, October 13th, down in St. Louis at Forest Park. And basically, uh, we, we, we go do the walk. It's like a quarter mile walk. Uh, maybe a three quarter mile walk. But uh, we raise money for that charity. And then at the same time, we're raising money for the Heidi Foundation. And I design new shirts every year. And this year, all the proceeds from the sales of those shirts goes to the local Heidi Foundation charity. And then also we're raising a uh, walk fund charity, uh, you know, for Autism Speaks. So we're trying to uh, do as much as we can this year with it. But that's that's the big thing. I like, uh, I like doing the charity work. It's fulfilling for me. I love helping people out. And 
it's just not, you know, me on a motorcycle uh, just being a clown. It's, uh, you know, I, I actually do this, you know, as, as a fun hobby, but also to help people out. And that's, I don't honestly, dude, that's what I really like about your channel. There's a lot of great things that I like about your channel, but tying it to something like that and and improving the, the local community around you, uh, that's that makes my heart sing, man. I love that. Yeah, it's a little twisty through here. It's, uh, it's fun. I'm ready to see the, the limestone. It's beautiful here, man. Yeah. It really is. It just, like I said, it's just going to get better. When you see the bluffs and stuff, and then the river right on your right, yeah, it's nice. It gets a little breezy, but it's way more fun. See, that's just awesome. I hardly go this way because we usually come from the south side. Yeah. It's, it's almost like you're on a new road. You know, that's, that's what makes motorcycling fun. Like, you're in a car, like, yeah, this looks pretty cool. But like, you come out here, you ride, you have fun. You take, you take a different way and it, it looks completely different and it makes, it makes the same area so much more interesting. Yeah. I experienced that a lot on, on well, riding a bicycle and, and just taking different routes and just like, holy crap, this area looks completely different because I'm taking uh, the opposite direction. It's kind of a, it's kind of fun, kind of unusual. Yeah, I, I can't even remember the last time I went this way. It's like I'm going on a new road. Yeah. A lot of the time we're, we head to Grafton and, and we're chilling out there for a while and then we head back to Alton. So we're doing the full swoop here. So I love cruise control on this bike. <laughs> You and Vetter, you and Vetter both have made me very jealous of your cruise control. <laughs> Man, someday, someday I'll have a Milwaukee 8 motorcycle in my garage and in between my legs. Well, there's a river. Oh, it took a little just a bit outside. <laughs> oh wow, water's high, man. Yeah, that's a. They were almost talking about flooding, but I think it's fine. Uh, that this is Pierre Pierre Marquette State Park. It's actually a lot bigger than what you see. It actually goes back in that way quite a bit. There's a cool bridge right here. And then you're gonna start seeing your uh, your rocky, like, the rocky cliffs and, the and walls stone. on the side. Yeah. yeah. It's like this, this shit's man-made here, but you're gonna, oh shit, grass in the road, man. Be careful. Thanks, man. This sucks. You know, you think they know better, right? They just don't think about it. You I mean, know? This, this, it is a law in Illinois. You're not supposed to push grass out into the road. That's the first bike I've seen today. Scooter, whatever it was. I tell you, though, this, this trip has been a lot of fun these last three days so far. But it's a hell of a lot more fun to ride this Harley Iron 883 without all my gear and crap on it. <laughs> so much more nimble without all that weight on it. Oh, yeah. Have you picked up any more radio stations with uh, your Zoom? Because you, you picked up a... Uh, that was hilarious, dude. No, that never happened again. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to your mod videos. I mean, I know you probably got to wait a little bit because uh, the warranty, but you're going to do some good things with that bike, man. Yeah, I mean, Vance and I said they'd already throw me another uh, fuel pack. No kidding. Yeah. But I want to wait till they have a slip-on. Right. That fits this bike, because right now they don't have anything. Heck, hardly anybody does. you got to get a full system exhaust. But since they were so kind to me for giving me that free muffler... I know, that was so cool of them. How'd you swing that? I just... I made that, uh... What was what video was it? I think it was the walk-around video. Right. And I had a, a clip on there showing my exhaust. A, an employee from Vance and Hines noticed it and Instagrammed me and said, there's something going on with your muffler. And then I get down there, I'm like, oh, crap, man, it's broken. I had no idea. I mean, I just bought the bike not too long before that, maybe a half a year before that. And I had no idea that the muffler was broken. That's crazy. And they're like, I'll tell you what, we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll send you one. I'm like, I'm like, how much? They're like, nothing. 
I'm like, that's amazing. That is amazing. Fancy Nines, I mean, from what I experienced, they're a pretty good company. I was having, I was having issues with tuning at first. I, I just gave them a call. They, uh, they took my current map. They took a look at it. Ten minutes later, they, they sent me a file to upload to my FP3, and a few minutes after that, I. I put it on my bike and retuned, and my bike's been great ever since. Nice. Yeah, my bike ran quite a bit better with that FP3 on it, I gotta yeah. admit that too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that, it did flood. Man. Did you guys get a lot of rain here like we did up in Madison? Uh, we didn't get as much as they were saying we were going. They said we were gonna get six to eight inches. I think we only got two or three. Yeah, oh man, that rain. Those two weeks were, it was like non-stop rain and non-stop flooding. That was a challenge, man. Yeah, I saw that video. You had news clips on it. That was nuts. Oh, man. That was crazy. You, get out, you should have got out the canoe and just <laughs> ro ro rolled your way down to the convenience store. <laughs> I just Damn, man. It did flood pretty good. All right, so this is Grafton. You see how the, uh, the buildings are kind of up on... Uh, I don't know what you call them, stilts or stilts, whatever. Like yeah. the, they're all up high. That's because it's notorious for flooding down here. Right. Wow. Yeah, this this town is a motorcycle mecca when it's nice out, especially in summer and fall. Yeah. I mean, there's bikes everywhere on the weekends. That's this is a big biker bar right here. Oh, uh, yeah. Hog pit. They're supposed to have good barbecue. I love me some barbecue. That's for sure. Yeah, it's it's. It's not bad in areas. I really love Memphis barbecue. I don't know if you've ever been out to like uh, to Memphis or whatever, like on Beale Street. I have. Yeah, it's been a good seven, eight years since I've been down that way. But yeah, that's a great area. Oh yeah, here's wineries. Yep. This is a nice area, man. Yeah, it's cool down here. That's the Grafton Pub. That's my favorite pub in town. Come down here with uh, with Mrs. D cycle on the back of your bike and grab a few, grab a meal and a few cold ones. Oh yeah, uh, I think we're planning to do that maybe late next month because when the the leaves start changing, yeah, this is like ten times better. Oh, I bet you get a lot of leaf peeping tourists down this way. Oh yeah, this is real touristy area. Yeah, and I mean a lot of locals come here too. Uh, there's uh, the loading dock, which is right back behind here. That's like probably the most popular place to eat, and they actually have an indoor area that they flood, and you can ice skate in in the winter. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is so cool. That's such a good idea. That keeps people coming to their business in the winter time. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, it's right on. Uh, yeah. It's like a, you get to eat outside right on the river. There's a bar outdoors that's kind of enclosed. Yeah. Now here's the funnest part of the ride. This is where you're gonna see your best scenery. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> 